Staying in sync with reality. To stay in sync, we let reality lead. This means we don't get ahead of reality and we don't get behind reality. We don't anticipate and we don't hold on to the past. We don't imagine the next experience and we don't turn around to watch experience disappear. It's just right here. Just this sound, just this flow of experience, just what's right in front of your face without any descriptors, without any frame of reference, without any specific context. We don't have to turn back and reference ourselves because reality is so vivid, so alive, so engulfing that we can just let it take us, let it take itself endlessly into itself. This carries realization deeper and deeper, impossibly deep, impossibly clear, endlessly letting go, endlessly self-penetrating. This is the truth of presence, a presence so real that it does not exist on a timeline. No timelines can touch this. You can't locate this on any sort of map. There's no mental map to lead you to where you already are. There's no practice or technique to lead you back to where you already are. Practices and techniques can help dispel the illusion of separation, the illusion of doing, the illusion of self, the illusion of seeking, but they will never lead you back to what you already are, what you always have been, and what never could not be, which is just this. There's nothing apart from it. There's nothing noticing it. There's nothing making it go. There's nothing holding it up. Reality is its own fuel. It doesn't need outside fuel. It doesn't need intention or will. It doesn't need purpose or meaning. Reality is its own meaning. One sound is its own meaning. And that meaning of pure non-dual knowing has infinite depth, infinite subtlety. There's nothing to realize here. There's only realization, endlessly realizing this. This has no beginning and it has no end. There aren't sides. There's not a worse or better, a before or after. There's not a past or future. There's not healing. There's no one to heal. There's nothing that needs to be healed. There's also nothing that needs to be avoided and there's no one who could avoid it. So it's just this. So it's just this manifesting as the infinite display of life, just as it is. Every movement, every sensation, every feeling, every laugh, every tear, every step, every movement of the hands and feet and face, every movement of mind, every shift and transition, every impression are all completely empty of substance. Formlessness is the lens through which we perceive the unborn, the unformed, the unconditioned, the unmanifest, which is not a thing, it's not a background, it's not a stage, it's not a ground of being, it is not even contingent upon being. So follow the I thought all the way to its source and see that it has no root, it never was. And thus ignorance is dispelled and all action is pure love.